Hello and welcome to another Pokemon TCG pack opening. We've got some more Ancient Origins boosters here today. It's been quite some time since I did some TCG openings. Uh, I think the last one I did was when Ancient Origins first came out. And that was quite a while ago nowadays. Um, but yeah, so I picked up six booster packs. I've got two of the Tyranitar ones, a Groudon one, two of the Hooper ones, and a Rayquaza one. Wow, I don't think I have a favourite pack art. Um, the Hooper one's pretty cool. Actually, they're all pretty cool. They, they, they got a derpy purse. Look at that face. Derpy, derpy, derpy. But yeah, um, I'll probably just open them in this order. Uh, I got them from game this time. They were cheaper than game. See, three forty-nine instead of four pounds. It's a bit of a ripple. Just so you pr to prove, I know they are all still product protected sealed. Product protected sealed. Product protected sealed. So they're all now the wrong way around. That was not a clever thing to do to show you that. But it, at least you know. They're not open, so they are completely random. So I'm gonna start off with the Mega Tyranitar booster pack there. Just checking to make sure the color's okay on the camera. Let's break the product protection seal off the pack. Ugh. Sticky tape is stuck to my hand. No, I've been defeated. By the product protection seal. No, I haven't. I'm just being slow. But that's alright. I'm allowed to be slow at these videos because it gives me more time to chat to you lovely, lovely people who don't really watch my videos at all. But I can pretend that you do. And it makes my day feel better. I am filming this a day in advance purely because I didn't want to just leave some pack open things for a day. Come on, product protection seal, what are you doing to me? This is a video. Play ball. Thank you. Are you kidding me, it ripped. So I just had a fun time. I just went to the dentist. I have clean teeth again. Lucky me. I've got the product protection seal broken. Let's dig in. Um, right at the bottom, apparently. I don't want to reveal what the bottom color is, and I don't want to reveal my code either. I might redeem the code before the video. So, the code's gone. I haven't seen what the first card is. Uh, it, it's a grass type, though. So, there you go. Don't really remember what's in this set. So, we take one, two, three. One, two. I know some people put the uncommons at the back, but I don't normally uh, to the front and just leave it like that. But that just seems silly to me. Um, no offense to anyone who watches and does do that way, but um, obviously the commons are the easy ones, so you want to look at them first. That's the way I see it. So we have a spinner rack, ancient trait bell toy, quagsire. Combi, Golette, Lysander, Ariados, Level Ball, <gasps> oh, Hollow, uh, Reverse Hollow rather, is a Ancient Trait Entei, that's a rare, so that's pretty good, and our rare is a Clay Doll. Uh, I've heard that clay dolls are quite common. I've seen another person who does Ancient Origins and other pack openings. Um, and they seem to think that um, clay doll is quite a common pull. Um, I have only just pulled the first one. I have pulled quite a lot of other things, but that purely, I think, is because this set is quite small in comparison to other sets, considering it only had about 100 cards. And a whole chunk of those were like EXs and stuff, so obviously you only get one of those per pack. So you're going to get a lot of the commons. Uh, saying that, there are some that I just haven't got yet, as far as I know. I mean, this is why. Like, where the heck did that go? Oh, I stuck it over there. Ah. I can use the old pack arts and stuff to stick the protection seal on. 
This is not fun to do. Why is they made these so hard to open? I don't understand. Is it just so that you don't like open them in this door? Maybe. Okay, we're getting this out now. That should lift me a bit to grip. No? Okay. That would be too helpful. Um, wow, we're only five minutes in and I've got five booster bags left to go. This is boding well. We're in for the long haul, guys, but I'm into this pack. That's nice, isn't it? Let's open from the bottom again, just in case. My code card. I will claim that before I post the video. Okay, so... Oh, card trick. Oopsie, I forgot. So... Let's move the previous pack out of the way so I have a place to put them. We have Persian, Eevee, Cottony, Baltoy, Wooper. That was nice with the quest I've got. Ace Trainer. This is the first Ace Trainer I've actually pulled. I've gotten a few in, obviously, in the theme decks that you've seen on the channel featured quite a bit. They're actually being featured again this Saturday, so be sure to stay around and check out those. Um, we have another Ariados, Paint Roller, a Reverse Gloom, and a Porygon Z! This will be good if I decide to modify the Stoneheart deck, because um, it has Porygon 2 in it. Cybercross, discard all special energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, and Slowing Beam during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon's attacks cause one coldest energy more. How nice. Just a regular rare, I'm assuming. Yeah, not a hollow. Just so you can clarify, not a hollow. Don't know if they make those in hollow or not. But that one, he's not a hollow. We've got Hooper next. Uh, oh, and that was a Groudon, in case you didn't see. But we don't want to talk about Groudon anymore. He's done. That was the only Groudon pack I picked up. I made sure to pick up one of each of the pack arts, and then I just got two random extra ones. Happened to be Hooper and Tyrantar. There was no rhyme or reason to why I picked those two. Um, oh, this is the protection seal seems to be coming off a lot easier, but then again, it has just ripped, so that's not fun. That's because there is actually a slit in the thing. That's not fun. Why do they have a slit in the thing? It just makes it a bigger pain in the ass. You're trying to open them on camera. That's two. Oh, are you kidding me? It ripped. Lol. Ah, he needs to design these better. Oh well. At least we get to open the cards. That's nice. That's the important part. Let's see if I get any nice juicy cards. Another grass type. And again, there are quite a few grass types in this set. I believe it's a combi. I might have seen it, but I mean, it's just a common, so it doesn't matter. I saw it earlier. Um, my code. Don't worry if you see the codes. Obviously, I'm not going to. Um, give you a chance to claim because they are my codes. Uh, I might, um, if I do a pack opening around Christmas time. Give you a code then, a Christmas code, Christmas bonus. Let's move the previous pack out of the way. We are going to start off with a combi. Can you see that all right there? Yeah, it looks a bit weird on the camera for me. Ready Kempf. Ready Kempf is a common, I never knew that. I see it was an uncommon. Meowth, that goes nicely with the Persian we just pulled. Another Eevee. Porygon goes with the Porygon Z we just pulled. Another level ball. Ooh, a Flareon! I may have pulled this in the last pack opening, I may not have. Um, just to clarify, I haven't actually opened any Ancient Origins packs since then. Forest of Giant Plant Stadium. A Reverse Hollow a Reggie Rock. And a Gyarados. No EXs yet. Although that Gyarados, if I show you, is quite nice. And the Reggie Rock is another Reverse Rare, if you see there. So, yeah, 
Uh, two reverse rares so far, that's pretty sweet, as they say. Actually, I don't know who says that. Tyranitar's back. Let's see if Tyranitar has some juicy, juicy, juicy for us. Let's rip this open. Oh, this one seems to be coming off quite a bit better than the previous tape. Uh, and again, I think I've said that on all of these tapes so far. Come on, you know you want to come off. I want to open my booster pack. Ah, I'm in. Um, we're currently clocking in at about 10 minutes. So we're making some good progress. I'm pull out my code card. One, two, three. One, two. So, meow, Odish, Malamar. The first Malamar I pulled. Where you on? Go lurk. Sligu. Tyranitar Spirit Link. Ariados. Reverse Hollow Ambrose Spirit Link. And a Vesper Quinn. Only two packs left. Snowy X is so far. Not getting some bad pulls though. Um, we have Rayquaza next. Um, so let's see what's in this one. this so I'm going to go record the episode of Pokemon Blue that went up yesterday because I'm recording this on the Monday because I didn't want to wait until the Tuesday I'm probably going to just all be lazy tomorrow and play like Awesome Noughts all day. I've gotten back into Awesome Noughts, hoping to play it on the channel at some point so that'll be fun um, for you Awesome Noughts fans that'll be coming uh, in the new year I believe. Um, Currently I'm at 400 videos, uh, once this goes out I'll be at like 402, but currently I'm at 400 videos, so whoopee you do my channel, oh, okay that ripped, so we're in, hello, oh my code, ah oh, you can see it, it's mine anyway, One, two, three. One, two. so we have Persian Unknown Kumi Magikarp Spinarak Flash NG Rotom Hex Maniac Reverse Hollow Vaporeon and Ancient Trait Golurk. Nothing too exciting in that pack. I mean, I've not gotten quite a few of those before, so that's not too bad. Um, pretty sure I haven't got the Kumi before. We are down to our last Hooper pack now. Still no whopping pulls, so who knows what Hooper has in store for us today. to put these product protection things on them. So, final pack. I 
I realize you just thought the first common was, but again, like I said, it's just a common. So, we're hoping for some good luck from this last pack, considering I haven't got any uh, whopping pools yet. We have Meowth, Spinarak, Beltoy, Quagsire, Kumbi, Lysander, Sableye, Level Ball, Reverse Hollow Malamar, and another Claydol. <sighs> no EXs today. But we didn't do too, too badly. I got quite a lot of cards I didn't have before. Um, and I, I now have two Claydols, lucky me. Um, the Porygon Z was quite a nice pull, so I'm not disappointed with him. You might be seeing him in one of my decks on the channel at some point in the future. Stoneheart, hint, hint. Uh, I'm going to over there, because that's just going in the bin after this video. Again, the Gyarados was quite nice. That could go nicely in the Iron Tide deck. Uh, I could also shove this one into the Stoneheart, because he's pretty nice. And the next time you see me doing a pack opening, it will be a breakthrough pack opening. That will be on the second Tuesday in November, hopefully, uh, which will be November 10th, I believe, because they come out on November 4th, um, which is a Wednesday, which is a pain in the bum, because, I mean, a whole ton of people have already done breakthrough um, cards by that point, but oh well. Who cares? I don't know why I'm looking through these cards. I know what I got. Um, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you um, did. Uh, leave a comment telling me what your what you thought was my best pull. And um, yeah. Bye.